And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fallout 4. Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Interesting. Was that something moving, or just a trick of the light? Must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, ma'am. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. All right, let's go. Right behind you, ma'am.
Hold up a moment, ma'am. There's something important I need to tell you. I'm listening. I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say B-592 initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code Gamma 71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. What do you mean by reset his cognitive processes? Put more simply, the recall code will render him unconscious, even uh -huh. that's all, ma'am. Initialize factory reset. Authorization gamma 71 epsilon. What? You okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they did something to him. Take them out. Time's up. <laughs> Theoretical limits are made to be broken. Dr. Watson can be a little obsessed when it comes to rules and policy. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you. Gabriel and his gang were sick bastards, hanging their victims up like trophies. Just glad it's over. While we can do nothing for Gabriel's victims, we can at least take comfort in the knowledge that the threat has been removed. But enough about that. The task is done. You've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased.
Your new quarters are here now. When you're finished here, ma'am, father wants to see you. Greetings, ma'am. Call this a clean floor. Are your visual reception malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Huh. Hello, mother. Tell me, what would you do when someone had stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. Right. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually, they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Mine. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the Railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. to talk with you. She's in back. Establishing Mercer safe house is a sign we're on the road to recovery. Thank you for that. Can I talk to you? Something on your mind? The Institute knows about Bunker Hill. They're planning to recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital, but this... The sacrifice is just too great. How much damage would it cause if, if, if we let them hit us? We're running out of places to hide our synths. That's why we put so many eggs in one crowded basket to begin with. So what would we lose? Four synths, Stockton, some of our best agents, and the inevitable civilian casualties? No, not this time. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next. But now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait until the enemy is in position, then we hit them hard. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? Won't the Institute be suspicious if I'm the only one left? You're a lot tougher than anyone else in their outfit. If only one person could survive, it would be you. And any story you come up with? won't be contradicted. We can't attack too early. We need to draw them into the kill zone, and then spring the trap. You'll know when. You'll probably have a coarser escort. You'll have to take them down. You've done it before, but it'll still be dangerous. Like you said, I've done it before. It's a risk, 
but it's one we have to take. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside, four synths under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? Shouldn't we try to avoid killing anyone? Irrelevant. Any threats between us and the target are to be eliminated. Only the synths matter. The mission's parameters just changed. We go in shooting. Requesting backup relay now.
I can't believe you'd do that for us. Thank you. <clears throat> You've given us another chance at life. We won't forget it. Hey. We'll get somewhere safe as soon as you're gone. Thank you for sparing us. Wake up, Commonwealth. What just happened? Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming. Join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. Hey, let me ask. Can we talk later? Later, yeah, yeah, we can do this later. Anything I can lug for you?
me ask you something. Get hit in the head? The Institute is my own. I hope it'll be yours too. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. an 
wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine. Standing here. I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice for 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out? Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me. And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Nice work bringing that good soup. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important.
good we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Uh, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Fort Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I'll admit I'm relieved. It's intended to be something of a classified project, which I'm sure means everyone already knows about it. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. In this world, I'm sure compromise is necessary. Quite right. For far too long, we've been dependent on others. On our surroundings, that time is over. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Hale. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Please, Let's be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. 
The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.